The future is here, or just around the corner, or far, far away from the here and now. And there's nothing to worry about, really, because it'll be someone else's nightmare. So, let them deal with it. I'm just kidding. The thing is, though, particularly when it comes to technology in horror, science fiction is often in the driving seat. And movies with otherwise terrifying premises, based upon the ever-moving progress of technology, don't really tend to get their just desserts in the eternal service of horror cinema. However, some movies that lie in between the two often strike a balance that is deeply unsettling because as human technology makes progress, so too does horror cinema. And in that case, let's take a look. Hello horror fans, what's going on? And once again, welcome back to the Scary Channel on YouTube. Top 5 scary videos. As per usual, I'll be your horror host, Jack Finch, as today we curiously take a look at the top 5 scariest tech horror movies. Roll the clip. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it is to be a slave. For the curious amongst you, that clip was of course from Ridley Scott's 1982 neo-noir sci-fi masterpiece, Blade Runner, because, well, I needn't explain why it deserves to be our opening clip for this particular list, because it's Blade Runner. It leads us to an important distinction though, because there are many classics of cinema that could fall into this camp, but many of them don't exactly hit the specifics of what we're looking for. Hey, it's a specific list, after all, but honourable mentions go out to Ridley Scott's other classic, Alien, as well as Danny Boyle's Sunshine, James Cameron's The Terminator. Yeah, you get the picture. Kicking off at number five, Pandorum, 2009. Gotta go now. Gotta go now. Now, you know what baffles me? This film got absolutely torn asunder by critics, and since it's released back in 2009, it's been consistently trashed and run through the mill of films that you shouldn't watch. But I'll say to hell with that, because when it comes to technology in horror, Pandorum is one of the most insanely entertaining and genuinely terrifying movies in the subgenre. And yes, I say that whilst acknowledging that this film is perhaps the most outwardly science fiction flick on this list, but it's in Pandorum's approach to technology and the ultimate implications of where it could take us that is truly disturbing. Directed by Christian Alvar and written by Travis Malloy, Pandorum tells a tale of an interstellar arc called the Elysium that carries over 60,000 people on a century-long trip to a remote Earth-like planet after our own Earth got chewed up and spit out and booed off stage. Also, did I mention that the cast of Pandorum is absolutely stacked? It stars the main man himself, Dennis Quaid, alongside Ben Foster, an incredible actor who deserves much more time in the limelight, but who definitely gets it in Pandorum because Foster knocks this film out of the park. Oh yeah, did I also mention that Norman Reedus himself is in this movie, albeit a much more conservative role, but hey, it still counts, right? I kind of don't want to delve into the plot of this movie at all because admittedly, it relies on the many twists and turns and seat of your pants revelations to keep its momentum going, and whilst it doesn't really do anything new with the genre from an outward perspective, what it does do, it does incredibly well, and so far as technology is concerned, the final act of Pandorum will be worth the reveal, and its existential depth is almost Lovecraftian in its approach. If you're feeling a film that's Event Horizon meets sunshine with a little sprinkling of Prometheus thrown in that handles the future of space flight technology in an incredibly bleak and dread inducing like then yeah Pandorum is exactly that movie it's great give it a watch coming in at number four unfriended 2014 I told you I didn't post those photos Val guys who is this I don't know was here the whole time Ken, you said it was just a glitch well the glitch just typed yeah, we can't really make this list without including this one, can we? And truth be told, we have to give credit to a horror movie that is essentially a Skype call gone wrong. Because no matter how standoffish you feel about the premise, there is no denying the fact that 2014's Unfriended is a genuinely unsettling horror film. And as far as innovation of the genre is concerned, it's perhaps the most successful indie movie of recent times. You see, I understand why people have a grudge with this film, which is essentially a teen slasher that takes place on a web screen in a Skype call. So why don't they just turn Turn their computer off and call the police when things start going bad. Well, I think that British film critic Mark Commode put it best, they can't turn off their computers because they're addicted. And that point in itself from a technology perspective drives its point home when attached to horror because what is the ultimate goal of horror cinema other than to be a lens to the truth? Written by Nelson Greaves and directed by Leo Grabiadze, Unfriended tells a tale of a high school student named Laura who commits suicide after a video of her passed out at a party goes viral. A year later and her classmates are taking part in 
in a group Skype call when slowly they realize there's someone else in the call with them and things quickly take a completely different direction. Now, listen, I know what you'll be thinking, but for what appears to be a relatively cheap and stupid film on the surface, Unfriended is actually an incredibly impressive piece of horror cinema. And the way it deals with the cautionary tale of technology isn't as full frontal as some of the other entries on this list, but still manages to hit just as hard. Unfriended is a surprisingly great horror flick, and as far as technology is concerned, it paints a pretty bleak picture. Next up at number three, Cube, 1997. Nailed. I love this film, and when I was about nine years old, I accidentally played a VHS recording of this instead of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and was pretty shocked at the results, as you may imagine. In fact, though, looking back at 1997's Cube, this film was way ahead of its time in dealing with the enigma and puzzling nature of technology, or should we say, a technology far, far greater than humankind, but that would be spoilers, right? And yet, whilst I'm lumping in the sequels and prequels that have subsequently been spawned from this film, we're solely focusing on the original, because for a film that shouldn't have really been a success on paper, Cube is awesome. Written and directed by Vincenzo Natale, Cube tells a tale of five strangers who wake up in a mysterious cube-shaped room who then discover that this same mysterious cube-shaped room is connected to others of its kind. But obviously, being a horror movie, in each of these rooms there are terrifying contraptions and designs which make it pretty difficult to stay alive. You see, on paper, Cube should kind of suck. It was the CFC's first feature project, it had a relatively unknown cast, the acting was kind of hit and miss, and the CGI was pretty damn laughable in places. But hey, it was 1997 and like with many films that tried to tackle technology as a horror concept, this film did the best it could with what it had available and the efficiency of Cube's egalitarian approach to horror is what catapults it to the cult status it deserves, which still holds true to this day. This film is damn entertaining and whilst the later films serve to flesh out the actual technology prefix of this list, as well as the wider implications of what the Cube actually is, the first mysterious foray into its design is a worthy horror experience. Experience. If you haven't seen Cube, I'd highly recommend that you do so. It's great. Swinging in at number two, Upgrade, 2018. I also love this film and shout out goes to our top five scary editor Ryan for forcing me to finally watch it and truth be told whilst 2018's Upgrade isn't exactly the most explicit of horror films because it's not really a conventional horror film at all I've been wanting to find a place for it for a while on the top five scary list and what better place than this one however that doesn't mean that there aren't many many elements of horror to this film and in fact it falls in line with our most recent body horror series although this one of course is wrapped up in a neat little technological package written and directed by Lee Wano Upgrade tells a tale of a man named Grey Trace, a mechanic of the near future that shuns the advantage of technology, instead relying on the tried and tested methods of combustion engines and old school muscle cars. Where have we heard that one before, right? One evening after taking a trip in a self-driving car, Grey and his wife get caught in a grisly accident and he is ultimately paralysed from the waist down, all of which leads to him being implanted with a multi-purpose chip known as STEM, and then things really get turned up a notch. I'll try and keep the narrative as bare bones as possible because there's a lot to be enjoyed in the A to B of Grey's journey, and admittedly part of the charm of this film is how simple it is in its approach, all of which serves as the backdrop to the final fear-inducing realisation of Upgrade's closing few scenes. As far as technology and horror is concerned, Upgrade covers one of the most tangible fears of the future, artificial super intelligence, and the space that lies in between man and machine. I mean, I'm sorry if that comes off as a little spoilerish, but Upgrade covers some weighty themes, and you may not realise it at first glance. This film is entertaining as hell and is a breath of fresh air in the speculative branch of horror. Give it a watch. You won't be disappointed in this one. And finally, coming in at our number one spot, Videodrome, 1983. Why would anybody watch a scum show like Videodrome? Why did you watch it, Max? Business reasons. Sure. Long live the new flesh. Guys, come on. Videodrome was so ahead of its time that it vividly portrayed something that didn't really have a name at the time of its creation. Obviously, that thing was virtual reality, although David Cronenberg's depiction of it was a little less virtual and a little more grotesque body horror with Debbie Harry inside a latex television set. But hey, that's what we love him for, right? The thing is, it's exciting for horror fans to have a film like Videodrome in the canon of cinema because whilst this film was very much a product of its time, in terms of technology and horror, this is the definition 
definition of a society facing something and more importantly fearing it. As David Cronenberg explained as a kid he used to pick up stray TV signals from Buffalo, New York late at night after Canadian stations had all gone off the air. He used to worry that he might see something strange and disturbing that wasn't intended for public consumption and thus Videodrome was born. The definition of technology in horror. Written and directed by the man himself David Cronenberg and starring the legendary James Woods, Videodrome tells the tale of Max Wren, a shock and awe TV executive who's looking for something off the wall to reignite his failing studio who stumbles upon a strange new TV show, Videodrome, allegedly being beamed out of Malaysia which depicts the brutal torture and murder of its victims in a strange unsettling torture chamber. Yeah, all those urban legends you've heard about the deep web, David Cronenberg was doing that in 1983. But wait, there's more because the concession of this film being way way ahead of its time extends its fleshy tendrils to so many wider concepts in its fear of the future that it's disturbing how on the money the majority of this film is. Videodrome is straight up disorientating in its scope and its vile dystopian view of the future wrapped in the cautionary tale of our society's obsession with entertainment hits far closer to home than what anyone would have originally expected and still rings true to this day. There's a lot to be found here and rightfully so, it deserves its place at our number one spot of technology in horror cinema. Video joke. Well there we have it folks, our list for the top 5 scariest tech horror movies. What do you guys think? Do you agree, disagree, have any more to add to this list? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Before we depart from today's video, let's first take a quick look at some of your more resounding remarks from over the past few days. Creepy Sim 666 says, think you've washed that top all too often Jack, which is a shame because I love that top. Top tip. Turn the top inside out before you wash it, helps prevent taking the print off the front. You know what? I love how much my t-shirts are such a hot topic of conversation over here at Top 5 Scary Videos. Maybe we should do a Top 5 Scary Tops, because let's face it, I've only got like five of them anyway. But thank you very much for that tip, Creepy Sim 666 I'll take note. I'll let you know if it works. On that note, that's unfortunately what we've got time for in today's video. Just stick around all the way until the end. If you were a fan of this video, or just Top 5 Scary Videos in particular, then please be a dear and hit that thumbs up button, as well as that subscribe bell, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. As per usual, I've been your horror host, Jack Finch. You've been watching Top 5 Scary Videos, and until next time, you take it easy.